to go to Illustrator, create a new document. Again, that's letter size, create. And I'm gonna save this as on my computer, coffee label, Zentangle on my desktop. Okay, so go to Google, a pro, uh, the Google project and download the scan. I know this is the one that I want. Uh, I'm gonna download the PDF. Now it's got everyone's labels in there from this class. So now go to File in Illustrator, Place. I wanna place an image, but I wanna make sure Options is selected. So if I click on, first let me go to my downloads. This is the scan. I wanna click on Options. Make sure you have link and show import options, this right here. That's going to show you your options. When I click on place, this is what it's going to place, but right now the first scan is not the scan that I want. So you're going to look at the PDF. I know that I want page 20. So when I click on OK, there's my image. And I'm going to create a new layer and call that my text. But while this is selected, I'm going to lock that layer. So I no longer am able to need that. So that's mine. Let me just show you real quick, though. When I open the downloads and the scan, I'm going to open the PDF. So you're going to do this first. And you're going to scroll through and find your label. Unless you like someone else's better. You can certainly use someone else's design, but I think it's probably better to use your own. Um, okay, so back to my coffee label. Now I'm going to go back to this document. I really like this font. I don't know if it's the best for this. I think for me I would probably use this, but right now I, I'm digging this font. So I'm going to select that. Command C, I'm going to copy. Go here. Make sure I'm in my live not locked layer. Command V is paste. Now there's a couple things I can do, and I'm going to zoom in here just to show you. I could just use the rotate tool and rotate this oval. That kind of fits in there pretty cool. And I could be done. But I actually want to make this bigger. So what I'm going to do instead is draw a path that mimics this curve. So similar to what I did in the other document. Click there. Click here and drag it. Make Trying to make the curve similar to my design. Again, I'm not worried that this line is filled. Now, with my type tool, Highlight my text. Command C is copy. Go back over here. Remember this is type on a path tool. Select my path. There's my lorem ipsum while it's selected. Um, command V is paste. Again, cafe is coming off because I need to select with the white arrow tool over here this left line and drag it over all the way to the start. And I still, this is already centered, so notice my text is centered, but now I'm going to highlight this and make the text bigger to fill in the figure. So figure out what works best for you. I like this better than just having Cayenne's Cafe on that curve, so I'm going to delete that. So now there's my label. We're going to print these out, cut them with scissors, and wrap them around cups to display.